I'm going to do a little experiment on my Beto buckets that probably goes in the completely useless category, but we're going to try it out anyway. These videos are brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are aquaponics.ai, growpockets.com, trueaquaponics.com, and glassbottleoutlet.com. Thanks for your support. As my tomato plant continues to grow, you know, I just have this little stream of water coming into it. I'm noticing that most of the roots, of course, are coming up where the nutrients are coming in. And there's very uh, few roots over in the other areas, uh, mainly because the, the water comes down, drips into the stone, and sort of branches out as it gets lower and lower in the bucket. So along the, the edges, there really isn't a whole lot. The stone is still uh, dry, and I'm essentially wasting the space uh, for roots in the bucket. Now I have no idea if that makes any difference or not, uh, but it bothers me enough where I wanted to come up with a little solution for it. Um, what I originally did was I just took a T-fitting and stuck it in here and I could actually add some piping in so then it would distribute water at two different spots. And that works uh, fine, that definitely helps out. But what I've been finding is as um, the debris from the aquaponic system works its way through the tube, it hits against here and it can actually clog uh, this fitting. So I have to keep uh, going through and uh, unclogging them. So this solution works and I've uh, used it for a while and that's why uh, some of the roots are out this way a little bit more. Originally they were just right in the center where the water was coming out. So putting the tea in uh, definitely helps spreading it out. So then I started thinking about other ways of uh, distributing low flow water uh, into the system and have come up with a, a new idea for it. So what I've come up with is a little tippy cup that has a hose that comes through here and drips water into this first bucket. And as this fills up, it will push this down and then the hose will be over this other bucket and then that fills up and pushes this side down. So what happens is as it just teeters back and forth, it will shoot the water out of the end in either direction. So instead of just the water dripping down in one spot, um, it will spread it out over both spots. So we have a little stand here that it can sit on, um, but what I've done is also added in a larger area which acts as a bridge so I can set this on the Beto bucket and it will just help to keep it even and not sitting on my stone that I have in there. What I did with this bridge is as the as this tips down the water shoots out and some of it goes down in each of these slots so it actually helps to uh, spread out the water flow a little bit more uh, throughout the bucket. And this piece here is also set up where it sits inside of here and has a little neck on this part that it snaps in so you don't have to glue this in. You can use the stand on its own or you could print out the whole thing that sets on the Beto bucket. So that's about it and we're gonna see how this works out. So here's our three parts. The the bucket itself, it's got a nice little sharp pivot point on there so you don't get any resistance with it going back and forth. The, the stand it's a little choppy of my 3D printing. I need to adjust my settings, but this will do uh, for now for my experiments. And then the base unit, that the bridge that sits on here. So this is just designed to slide through, it snaps into place and sits on there. Slide the bucket in there, and that tips back and forth and just a little pinch of the hose it sort of sits in there and does its thing. So you can see with these slots in here a lot of the water just goes to the first one and then as it works its way over it makes it about to the fourth one. Um, if you actually let the bucket fill a hair more, if it was stuck or something it shoots it a hair further so this is a good safety margin with these slots so that way the water just doesn't come flying over the edge. If I really wanted to, I could make these different sizes or offset them. So if the, there was a slot here, maybe another slot here, another one further over this way, it would allow uh, probably a little more even distribution as the water comes through. But I think this will do fine. So you can see as this is teetering, 
it's coming through the slots and spreading out over the, the width of the bucket. Now that doesn't take care of getting water to the front side or the back side, but at least it uh, gets a little bit more spread into the bucket a little bit better. Like I said, I really have no idea if this is going to work well. I think over time these are going to get some bio slime in it, but even if they do get stuck, they'll just keep filling up with water and eventually uh, dump it out. So at least the hose uh, doesn't get blocked uh, with any debris and it'll just keep watering it. It'll be easy enough to check if they do get stuck. I can walk by and see if they're actually moving uh, fairly quickly. So I'll leave a few of these running um, and then we'll see what happens in the long term if it makes any difference where I can see the roots growing with the plants. I'll leave a free copy of the STL files on my uh, store. Uh, you can just download them uh, from there. Again, I have no idea if it's going to work long term, but I figured it was a fun little side project to help uh, with the water. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.